Well, good morning. Today is the day we're gonna install the basement walls, superior walls. I'm gonna have a video of how they're doing it right now. The guy just got here, so this is gonna be part two of the videos. They're just compacting the stones right now and they're bringing all the truck and all the tools, you know, what they need to kind of basically get the work done. So uh, I'll uh, give you more information here and uh, you'll see the process, the full process, how that gets done. They start digging the footers here where the wall is going to be. They're compacting it here. And Rick, we get to see Rick to work. He doesn't do this for everybody, just for me. Yep, that's it. They're just measuring and getting it exactly at the level they need it to be. Add some stone, take some stone away. And, uh... You can see out there the crane is coming now. They're gonna be setting that up as well. You can kind of see that uh, they're uh, getting the crane set up so they'll be able to reach, you know, the concrete truck right there where all the walls are. And uh, when that gets emptied, you know, uh, they'll go and bring another truck. So it's a lot of sections that they're gonna have to put together. You'll see the process on a video. The crane is good to go. They just kind of set that up on uh, his own feet there. So it has to be completely off the ground and has to be level for safety for the guys. Make sure that it's not going to tip over. So, And it's gonna be hot today. So these guys are getting hydrated slowly, but uh, they're gonna get it done. That's where the beam is going to be from there all the way up to that area there. So that's the first piece. These guys working overtime. It's getting hotter though. Gotta get plenty of water for them. Laying it out the way it needs to be. We got all the sections marked here. Is that what these resembling here? Like where the wall sections are gonna separate right there? Yeah, we're measuring out the distance right now. And then once we get these pins straight, we'll snap the line. And the outside face of the wall will sit just right in that line. Perfect. Each wall is a section. This is where they're gonna meet basically, right at that line right there, all around. They're checking for uh, how square it is. Once they get all that, they'll be ready to go. What do you think, boss? Looking good? Yeah, we're getting there. It's gonna get hot. Now, if you guys need more water, I have a cooler there. Okay. You know, bottles of water in there. I gotta go get a couple of more bags of ice okay, to kind of keep it cold. But yeah, it, guys, need anything? Let me know. All right, thank you.
Well, they've got the uh, first load. This is uh, all the pieces from one truck. You can see up there that he's gonna leave. There is another truck on the road up there waiting to come in and then continue on installing these. Looks awesome, actually. They are so nice, these superior walls. Because they have, you know, these uh, frames you can put the drywall right on them. Uh, they also have the pre-drilled holes so you can kind of run your electrical work. Plus it's very insulated here so you won't have any moisture coming in. They are really, really nice. Uh, you won't see any dampness like you will see in the block walls or concrete walls that you have any fracture cracks, you know, from like the pressure on the outside and the concrete does crack. Uh, you won't see any of this. Well, so they're actually really nice. This is uh, the opening the door here. That's going to be going out. They're going to install the stairs. And that is going to be where the Bilko door is coming, steps up, and then you'll have the uh, the panels on top that are going to open up. And then you can go in and out the basement, bring the bulky things down. It's awesome, guys. Looks awesome. Did you do this before? A couple times. <laughs> Gonna basically they have to close this area in right here and uh, do the garage walls which they are on the other side of this one and then do the stairs uh, to go to the outside for the Bilko doors it looks looks awesome So we're checking for uh, dimensions. Make sure the corners are where they are. Make sure uh, it's the right number. So when they set these pieces over here, they're gonna match. So it, the gap is exactly where it needs to be, not too big or too small.
we got basement walls. We got finally got all the walls all around. It looks actually awesome. Very nice job from these guys. It looks excellent. Now the other thing they need to do again is the stairs here and uh, the garage walls. So the Belco doors get the concrete pre-cast ones, which they are right there on the truck. They're gonna hook them up and bring him here. So he's uh, putting a sealer around the area so it would seal it tightly. And then they're gonna also pop it again around on the outside as once the stairs are put in place. And then they're gonna bolt it right along uh, the wall there. You can kind of see those couple holes in there, one there and one down at the bottom on both sides. Just give you an update what's going on so far. We we'll got the stops and everything done. They're getting ready not to do, do the garage walls. They put this footer here, which that's where the wall is going to be sitting on top. They're only four feet. They're running along here and then coming around, wrapping around the other side. So just just so you understand you know what's happening here so they're gonna be about four feet which they'll be a foot higher and what those are and the reason for that is that we kind of did it that way because the the uh, the decking for the house you know the joists were here is gonna be another 14 inches higher so we didn't want it in the garage to be too low to get into the house we didn't want too many steps so we kind of left it so you would only have one step going into a house. We got all the basement walls installed and uh, 
it was kind of hot yesterday and the guys kind of struggled you know the heat was about 105 degrees the heat index it was really warm but they pushed through it and they got it all done it looks awesome and you can kind of see basically as you saw in the video this is the garage here where basically the garage door is going to be going in we're going to have to backfill all this here obviously in all this area so we have the rest of the way to kind of take care of it but we got the blocks here and uh, pretty much you know everything is in place as far as uh, the uh, the foundation walls are taken in consideration the next video is going to be uh, prepping for the concrete pouring the concrete in a basement here is going to hold you know the basement walls from coming in from the pressure of the back filling so we got to put them in place so that will be in another video that will be on part two uh, excuse me part three this is part two and uh, here is the steps as well uh, from uh, which is going to be uh, you know just walking down the steps going into the basement and uh, this kind of wraps it up for uh, part two video. I just want to give a uh, special thanks to Rick from Superior Walls. He did an amazing job to help me through the process and choosing the right walls and height and everything else, trying to make sure they kind of fit here with the lot that we have because a variety of different lots, you know, require different drops and everything else. And of course, special uh, thanks to my buddy Brad Perry that he has helped me dig it and helped me also, you know, through the whole process until this point. So it's great to have good friends that are willing to help you and definitely makes the job much better and easier. And uh, it's moving right along the way it should be. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you on part three when we do the concrete.